I'm going to show you Adobe Premiere Pro first. It's the software I use, and I've been using it for years, and I am familiar with it. It's expensive, so I will also show you the more basic Pinnacle Studio, which is incredibly impressive and easy to use, with some pretty nice features that even Premiere doesn't come with. But first things first, these here are the files that combine to make the finished movie, all the titles, the original footage I use for both cameras, and of course the music tracks. This is the monitor window where you can watch the output. You can, what they say, scrub through the audio and video by moving the timeline cursor. Each one of these little sections on the timeline represent the edited clips cut together to form the final movie. It can look overwhelming. Um, that represents only seven minutes. As for the transitions, there are pretty much only two or three that will actually appear in a movie. The most common is a simple cut, which is no transition at all. This is usually used to denote that the previous clip and the next clip are happening at the same time. The other most common is a dissolve or fade, which is often a fade to black or a fade from black. This usually tells the viewer that some time has passed between the two clips or scenes. This can also do, you can also do a cross fade, which shows both clips fading into each other without going to black. Now one thing to keep in mind when cutting your footage and placing the clips on the timeline is timing and rhythm. It's hard to see here, but this is the background music track with the audio waveform. You can see here that there's a peak or beat in the music. Try to get as close as possible to those beats to maintain a smooth flow. This is the green screen I got with Pinnacle. Um, it's a sheet kind of that you would hang up on the wall. Um, I don't have any free wall space at the moment. Um, so let's try it anyway. I don't know if this shirt will work either. So the idea is it has to be lit very well no shadows or wrinkles, which obviously I can't guarantee right here. <laughs> Let's see if I can uh, get it to work in Premiere. See, the greens don't match, so it might be tough. But at least I might be able to get a background behind me. So we'll see. So green screen or chroma key works by having two tracks on the timeline at the same time. One with a green or blue background with a subject in front. You can tell the software that everything of that color should become transparent. And the track below it will show through. Okay, let's quickly take a look at Pinnacle Studio Plus. This is version 10.7, but version 11 is out now. It's similar, but a lot simpler. It has the monitor window. And of course, down below is the timeline. I usually don't do raw edits with Studio because it only contains the one video track, and I'm used to two or more, but most people shouldn't have any problems with it. It's just a matter of what you're used to. Let me show you some neat effects. First, here are some more examples of other transitions, ones you won't normally see in a movie, but they are fun to add in photo slideshows and whatnot. Let's, let's take a look at one more closely. This one will also show the old film effect afterwards. Now rotoscoping, that allows you to mask all colors except for one you specify. This is a very neat effect you may have noticed in the movie Sin City. It'll mask all the other colors and will present them in black and white. You can add snowfall of varying speed and intensity, but to sell it, adding sound effects, which are built into the software too, will enhance it. Cloudy day would have helped there and here too. And rain is added to the footage. I, I could have spent a lot more time tweaking this, but the last example apparently burning my friend up. Now selling effects means combining them, not just with sound, but also by say adding smoke and heat to the fire. And of course, more appropriate footage than I used here. There are many more things software can do to enhance your movies, and whichever editor you choose, these or others, they basically work the same way. You import your footage, cut it up with transitions to match the music track, 
add any necessary effects, and use your creativity to make the best movie you can.